Saturday morning on the road today. Hey, hey. The sun is blazing on a one. Hey, hey, hey. Hi, Angel here. And Vampress Kiss. I've been busy the last week or so doing some spring cleaning, um, which is usually something I don't do, but I decided I would do it because you'll see how I've got these um, containers up here with the food in them or the, you know, the essentials and stuff. Well, what has been happening, I had this happen in Oregon too. Um, when flour and noodles and just about anything you can think of, any kind of dry goods, sits inside its original container, it gets weevils in it. And it does not take very long. I mean, stuff doesn't even have to be expired to get these weevils in them. And so I've been thinking, thinking, I mean, because we go through hundreds and hundreds of dollars a year and food that gets thrown away. So I had started... Um, just putting them in these containers up here like that well that was not good enough no. um, what ended up happening was we we can you hold the bottom of the jar sure we were still getting weevils because because um, I believe it was because th there's no rubber seal on these to seal this up and I remember when I was a kid my mother saying once or somebody saying once that if you put bay leaf and flour yeah it looks just like this bay leaf and flour or anything else that is like that it will keep bugs out well I can say that the things that were up on this shelf over here that had the bay leaf in it uh, were not affected by the bugs. So definitely the, if it's an old wise tale, it doesn't matter. You use the bay leaf in the dry goods. Second, I started buying these um, five gallon food uh, buckets. Kind of like what a prepper would use. It says, let me flip that handle. It says right on it that it is Food grade, heavy duty, BPA free. And um, I started putting like our pinto beans and um, things like that. Oatmeal, bought yeah. lots of oatmeal because I'm kind of a part prepper, I guess, kind of. I, I just have this real fear of running out of food and getting trapped. Comes from having a father that grew up in the depression, I think. I mean, he harped at me the whole time I was growing up. Anyway, um, we, I started um, putting stuff in those containers, and what I first started out with was this lid, which this lid here is got a gasket on it, and it worked great. Nothing wrong with this lid if you have the strength to be able to pry it off of the pail every time you need to. Yeah, that, and, and that that's where the problem came in. I couldn't do it. And so I ended up buying these. These. Yeah. Um here, let me just show them this. It's called a uh, gamma lid and what it is, can you pull the bucket again? And what it is, it spins off and it opens and this here has a gasket on it. I don't know if you can see that. And the outer lip of it that we put on also has a gasket. So you're like double protected yeah, once the lid gets on there. And as you see, my bay leaf is down in there and of course a note telling me this is my bluebird flower I know that only because it was blue and also I wrote on the side of it that it was um, where is oh, it? Right over here. that it's bluebird flower that's the flower that comes in the uh, flower sacks and we can get it really cheap down here like 
um, 20 pounds of it, or is it maybe 25 pounds of it, for like uh, $7.99. So that's what I've started doing. I've started putting all my dry goods, in, I think you've got that on there, Crooked, in um, these buckets and replace them with the lids. Now, these, you're still doing it wrong. These Gamma lids are expensive. I did find them for $6.99 at Tractor Supply. But when I weigh out the $6.99 compared to how much money we've probably thrown away in food, I'm sure these uh, storage devices are going to uh, pay for themselves probably within a year. The other thing I use too is these are uh, the ball canning half gallon uh, glass jars and they work really well here let me take you over here for like spices or the other thing I put in them is taco mix um, all sorts of things you know and um, I use the quart ones the pint ones the half gallon ones just whatever like um, this here is uh, what is that? Quinoa. This is uh, flax. That's couscous, it says right on it. And anyway, I put the bay leaf inside that as well. So, um, I mean, I, I, that's what I've been doing. I've been throwing away what has bugs in it and then putting them in these new containers. Yeah. And um, it takes time. Also, you know, when you're pouring flour and stuff, oh my God, talk about the, the dust storm it causes. But um, here's the, the lids that I'm buying. Like I said, this is an expensive project, but it's uh, well worth it in my opinion. Now, the other thing I wanted to share was I had, will you get me one of those smaller buckets? Oh, here, I can show them right here. Um, I tried to, Sorry about the mess over there. I tried to um, also get the two gallon buckets, which you can see here it says it is food grade, but it's made from a different company. Now this lid does not fit on, fit on here right. And even when you take this off, this lid just does not fit it right. And um, so you're not getting as good a seal as you should be getting. I also bought, um, grab that lid over there, the one on the shelf. Yes. Yeah. I also bought, no, that's the same lid. Oh, what did I do with that lid? Oh, there it is. I also bought these lids, which is a little bit different. These are made by Leak Tight, and you can tell, you can kind of just tell they're a, a, a thicker lid and more sturdy. They also did not work. And these are made by United Solutions. And these are like really thin. I mean, they're like what you'd get on the top of, if you buy bubble gum in a big container, they're real thin. They don't work either. Yeah, and, these bend. and these didn't even come with gaskets in them. So I tried to take the gasket out of the, well, that's why this one's missing the gasket. Try to take the gasket out of this one um, to put into this one, but it didn't fit. Now on eBay, not eBay, I'm sorry, uh, Amazon, they have these two gallon buckets with the gamma lids on them. Um, they sell them in a set of eight for $85, and that includes the shipping and handling, which when you break that down, that's just right about $10 a bucket. Well, these buckets here are four dollars. These two-gallon buckets, and I have not been able to find the gamma lids. And the, where I did find the gamma lids, it was like seventy-nine dollars shipping. It was from like uh, Uline or something, a company something similar to that. And um, so I am thinking about getting the ones from uh, e, e, uh, Amazon. I mean, because like this, I said this was six ninety-nine. And this bucket, well, at Tractor Supply, it's three twenty nine, so that's just right at about ten bucks. Also, I would like to get three and a half gallon buckets, but I have not found them. And where I have found them online, um, it's the same deal—about seventy nine dollars shipping if you want like a dozen of them. And then 
um, supposedly the three and a half gallon ones hold this same uh, lid. But you know, it makes me leery to send away for that sort of stuff because I could end up with the same problem because I've got um, stuff that's in uh, the two gallon ones that I've got to transfer to the five gallon ones. But um, yeah, that those are really good, but they're not good for like flour or, um, well, if you have too much flour or sugar or anything like that. But if you're taking out of one of these to just keep the flour out on the counter, this method works really well because, you know, all jars, including these, have the seal on them. I mean, although you cannot really can in these unless you're like canning juice, but you cannot can food in these. Um, I mean, mostly, it, yeah, it says online just to can juice. Um, well, here you go. Here's an example for those of you that don't know. Yeah. It's got the seal right there. And um, like I said, everything gets... Uh, bay leaf in it which yeah. you know is this yeah and and no and no don't use your bay leaf in you know if you're scooping the the anything out of those things and if there's bay leaf in what you've scooped be sure to remove it because you're not supposed to eat bay leaf it's supposed to just be like a flavor enhancer or um in this case it's keeping the bugs away so that's what i've been up to Seems like it's taking forever and I am so slow and and like I clean like one section and then I mean everything's just such a mess but we're, we're I'm working on it and I uh, just you know wanted to share that with you for any of you who might be battling weevils as well I mean because the other thing we're having an issue with I'm gonna take you out here is this is where we keep our um, canned food storage and I had to clean this out just recently because our hot water heater is right there behind that styrofoam wall. And it gets very hot in this room. And even though the canned food, some of it is not even expired, what's happening is they're bulging. And if anything, if anything bulges, I, I re, you know, I get rid of it right away. And we just threw away like nine bags of, uh, canned food again because they were bulging so I'm thinking about putting in up there a ceiling fan one of those really small ones it's like less than 32 inches across they'd be like for a very small room either that or getting a floor fan something to keep the air circulating in here and I hope to God that it will um, keep keep the canned food from popping because I mean okay here's here's one that's notorious um, mandarin oranges long long before they ever ever expire those suckers will pop on us uh, anything with a lot of acid in it like um, tomatoes uh, the mandarin oranges I don't even buy those because they pop before I can even do anything with them and um, Green chili, I got to be careful with, and I got to be careful with um, pineapple. So, you know, the heat, the heat, the, and the extreme cold, because it gets really cold back there too in the winter time, because um, there's no heat because our furnace doesn't work that's back there. And so, um, between the extreme heat and the extreme um, cold, it's just. Uh, It's an expensive game that, it, that we're playing. And I'm just trying to figure out how to make it so that it doesn't cost us so much money. So, um, I guess we'll revisit this in uh, maybe at the end of the, the summer and see if everything uh, stayed bug free. Yeah. I know, like I said, the stuff that's on this shelf right there that had the bay leaf in it stayed bug free. But then stuff that was sitting on other shelves that didn't have the bay leaf in it, it we had to trash it. So, yeah. um, so thank you for stopping by and checking us out. Remember to subscribe, share, like. <laughs> what do they do with the bell? Tap it. Yeah, tap the bell so you get our notifications. And this is uh, 
Vampire's Kiss. And Angel. One soul. Always. Always. So if you go out into the woods today, hey.